Hey, it's a decent looking little neighborhood. I absolutely love Garden Grove. We always kill it in Garden Grove. Yes. It's a lot of trash. Windows a little funky. I see a little bit of dry rot right there. Ah! Jeez, the heck? Well, it needs a new screen door. Oh, it smells. Oh, gosh. Oh, lovely. Well, first impression, right when you enter. It smells really bad. I mean, right off the bat, I would think about removing that wall, removing that. I don't know why this was ever even like a design aesthetic. All right, so I would say to redo the kitchen, open up the walls at a peninsula, it's probably gonna be anywhere from 11 to 12,000. Okay. This is a three bedroom, two bath, 1200 square foot house. The living room, dining room, and kitchen are separated by walls. So if we bought this place, we'd wanna take down the walls to open up the space. All right, the backyard, simple. There's already a patio here that we can do like mulch this way and sod that way. So it's kind of a combo. We could leave that tree though, right? Yeah. Good. Probably two to three grand back here. Nice yard. This is a big bedroom. Bedroom two. It's weird how there's these two like nooks. What about the nooks? Huh. All right. But it's a nice size bedroom. So this is community bathroom. So bathroom one. It's not the biggest, but. What are you thinking there? To redo this, it's not that big. I would say about 7,000. Okay. I just hope there's a private master. There it there is. There is. Wow. Is it terrible or is it decent? It's terrible. Like beyond terrible, but at least there is one. No. Oh. Yeah. It's tiny. Teeny tiny. Actually, it's not that bad. Once it's gutted and everything, tiled it all the way up to the ceiling. It's... You think 10,000? 10,000? No, we're probably about 6,000 in here. I don't see it being that much. I mean, the roof's good, concrete's good, exterior's good, there's air conditioning, there's heating. I would say probably 50 to 60. I agree. Are they like, they wanna sell right now? Pretty much they said if we can't write an offer today, they're probably gonna list it. Mm, let's write an offer. Yeah. It's always a gamble when making an offer without having the contractor inspect the house first but we just couldn't let this house get away. So after negotiating with the seller, we finally agreed on a $425,000 purchase price. Jeff. What's going on, you guys? Hi. We're moving fast, I see. Well, I've got something to talk to you guys about. Already? Well, yeah, let me show you something real quick. Just got here, man. So, back here in this room, the only big room in the house that you guys have, we talked with the city and it turns out that right now I'm in your bedroom. Now I'm in your garage. Huh? Are you kidding me? This is the garage. They pushed this entire room out. That's three feet into the garage. The city's not gonna let you get away with that. Okay. All right, let's go break some stuff. All right. What's going on, you guys? So obviously everything's demoed, we have to come out with layout. Me and Christina want to open up this space and that space over there. Easy or load bearing? Load bearing. Which one, that one or this one? Both of them. But how much is that gonna be? Probably about three grand. Just for that wall or total? Total. Right, so let's do this. Let's take that wall out, take out this whole area. We run a peninsula here so we can still have like two or three people for bar sitting. Yeah, you can do that. So fridge here, we're gonna have the sink there. Then we have in kitchen laundry. Is there anywhere else to put the laundry? What we could do is close it up here, right? Make this the laundry area and you can access it from the hall. It'd be a pop out. The floor plan issues didn't end after we opened up the kitchen. We still need to figure out a way to make a big impact in the master bath. Well, the good news is we have a private master bathroom. The bad news is it's tiny. What can we do in here to make this bigger? Expand the shower by going into the closet here. The problem is this would be the master closet. It's way too small. Right. But what's on the other side of this wall? So the furnace is on the other side of the wall. Can we move it? 
possibly in the attic. So if we were to expand the shower and create this walk-in closet, move the furnace, how much do you think? It's a lot bigger shower, but you're probably looking at a couple thousand total. A couple thousand, huh? I mean, it would make a huge difference. Yeah, and this is the master, so we really should try to make it nice. Furnace Sounds good. up, bigger shower, walk-in closet. We'll do that. In addition to creating a walk-in master closet, we made more closet space in the other two bedrooms by moving the water heater outside. That, combined with opening up the kitchen and adding space for the laundry, will add a ton of value. Well, that looks quite interesting. You like it? I don't know. So you're, you're, it's you're... there, it's wrapping all the way around. Yeah. It's just really busy. But the kitchen is so plain and very simple, so this really adds like a super cool dramatic effect. Is there any chance that we could take it down and just make it white? What? I don't think buyers are gonna like it. That's the style right now. Keep everything simple, but then do like one pop of, you know. Weirdness? weirdness? Is that one pop is? of weirdness. Do I have a choice? No, it's already installed. Is it better? Wow, we officially have a big shower. Oh, it's way better in here. It's nice, huh? So this used to be half closet, right? Right. Yeah, it looks a lot better. Actually, it feels like a master. Totally. So these are the materials you told me to grab. Right. I mean, we have the basics, but I have one more surprise. I don't like surprises. So I know how much you oh, love this no. one. Please no. So we're bringing it back. This right here is gonna make a big impact and it's such a small space that it's not gonna be overwhelming. And it's gonna tie the whole house together. So we have this bathroom and the other one. Well, you wanna do both? Besides when we do the whole shower walls in it. <laughs> you messing with me? I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, I don't know about you, but I love the kitchen design. Kitchen's huge. Yes, how do you feel about the zigzag? Someone's gonna like it, hopefully. So we have to come up with a list price. We did spend quite a bit of money here. We paid 425, we put about 70,000 into it, so after closing costs, our break even's about 523. What are the comps? They're not looking spectacular. 530 and 549. 530? Yeah, but the second one's a little bit better. So here's what I thought. You're probably gonna say I'm crazy. What's new? Um, I say we list at $5.99.9. What? Yeah, $5.99.9. Market's hot. All right, it seems awfully high, but give it a shot. Hopefully we get lucky. Definitely, okay, let's get it staged. Buyers are gonna love the zigzag, you'll see. Pretty. Really nice. It's so big in here. I was just gonna say that. I mean, it's so much more open. It's a really, really big kitchen. I mean, it's totally open. You have living room, dining room, kitchen. This is the size kitchen you have in like a 3,000 square foot house. Yeah. Want to check out the yard? You know what? This looks like an awesome family yard. Yeah, it is. It's actually a really nice size yard. And we have mulch. It's beautiful. <laughs> Cute. Okay, so we lost some closet to create a larger shower, which I think was a good decision. This is definitely a really nice, luxurious shower, and I think buyers are going to love it. The floor in here looks a lot better than it does in the kitchen, so. Thank you. I actually like it in here. I know, it's cute. It's very nice, very open. Very spacious. Oh, I like the tiles. I love the tile here. And it's bold, it sort of sets the tone for the house. Yeah. Overall, the color of the house is nice. I like the gray. I like this really open kitchen. This kitchen is amazing. Yeah, I love that it's all white. I love the tile. There's a view out here too of the backyard. Oh, it's a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Wow, that's really bold. I love it. It's very modern. Tiles match the, the kitchen. The kitchen. Master bedroom. Oh, I like this room. It's really spacious in here. It's walk-in closet. Pretty small. Love the tile. What a great combination. Yeah, it's different, but it works. Yeah. I really like the size of the shower, too. This shower is the real MVP, I think. So what do you guys think about the house? Uh, I really like the color. I love the open floor plan. I love the tile in the bathroom. I also like the tiles a lot, the restroom and the kitchens. Oh, you like the ones on the island? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. He loves those. They're his yeah, favorite. I do. We were anxious about the price, but I'm glad we held firm. 
A few weeks later, we received a full price offer at $599.9. If this deal goes through, we stand to make over $76,000. Time to find another house to flip.